What is going on guys, Tizan Zlad here and I'm bringing another tutorial in Cinema 4D and this tutorial will be focusing around the Greeble effect and I'll be using the helixes I showed in my previous tutorial and I'll be showing you how to make um, this as you can see the image on screen so let's get to it let's go ahead and delete all this okay so first thing you want to do is you want to click on this cube once you've got your light room open and um, you click on this cube and left click and just drag it to center and you want to grab your rotation tool and just rotate it about say minus 45 degrees and then you can then put segments on it if you want to I'll just put segments X5 segments Y5 segments Z5 okay um it's not really nece necessary to do that but I just like doing it so once you've done that, you can either put Greebler first, or you could do the, um, add your logo, whatever you want to add, or text. Um, I'm going to put Greebler first. Okay, just drag the cube into the Greebler. Oops. Into Greebler, and you can see it's not as it's shown in the preview. It's not really like standing out that much. So what you want to do is you want to click on Object here in the panel, and you want to click on Subdivision. And you want to go up one, two, or three. But don't go over like say four or five because it could crash your computer. So yeah, your subdivision is at two, and your base. Um, this these things are completely uh, um, it's from a personal preference. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's all up completely up to you. Uh, the uh, the sp uh, the sparsity. Um, that um, if you turn it to say fifty, it takes away half of the. Um, Greebled effects, which is on the cube away. So if if I went to a hundred, it make it lesser and lesser. So I'm just gonna go with fifty in the spacity, and the height is um of the Greeb of the Greebled of the Greeblers. So you can extend it as much as you want, like all the way out. I'm gonna go with the height with ten. The max is gonna be say six, and the minimum bevel. Um, I'll just leave it as it is. Minimum bevel is at five, max is ten. And then once that's done, um, you can grab any material you want. Um, I'm just gonna grab this grey material on top of it, and I'm just gonna change the color of this real quick. Okay. Um, now you want to do you want to go and import a logo or text, whatever it is you want to do. Um, I'm gonna go with the phase logo. Shrink it down. Okay, so once you've got your logo, um, you can ex put your extrude nibs. Click on this little nibs here, extrude nibs. Uh, drag the phase logo into the nibs, and your caps keep the thing as it is. Um, you know, change the caps to thirty. I mean the movement of it and you want to just rotate it using the rotation tool um, I'm gonna go with 35 th minus 35 degrees and just drag it out and you want to position it so it's sitting on the um, grebel on the cube let's rotate it a bit more okay and now bring it out and you might want to scale it a bit down because you want it to be fitting on the cube. Okay, just drag a bit out. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to click on your extrude nerves, press Control C, Control V, and you want to grab a put a material on top. I'm going to put um, on the original layer a gray material, and on top of that, I'm going to put a um, which one is it? Yeah, I'm going to put a slight glow, and what and your second um copied uh copied nibs uh, you want to go to your caps and then you want to go to fill it and then you change your end to fill it as well and you want to change both of the radiuses to like one and you know you can just move forward and backwards uh i'm just gonna keep it there and um yeah um you can uh 
copy the layers which you just did uh, the two nibs and you press control C control V on the keyboard and you just want to rotate that um, about 75 degrees make sure that sits on uh, rotate a bit more Okay, um, once that's done, um, you can um, grab your helixes if you want, and by just doing that simply easy, just go on this freehand tool, um, it's, it's been my previous tutorial, so you can check that on my channel, um, you want to click on this, um, the bendy tool, and you want to click on helix, and you just want to scale it down, um, as much as you want, and just reposition it, rotate it, and I'll rotate it like that, scale it down a bit more, and just bring it out. And you wanna go on your uh, world tool again, same thing, but go to circle and you scale your circle down all the way until you can't see it. And then you wanna go to your nibs here and then click on sweep nibs, highlight the helix and the circle, just drag it into the sweep nibs. And uh, you wanna change the circle radius to around about say um, 2. And the helix, you can just mess around with the settings. Uh, let's just real quick. Um, Start radius 57, start angle 50, end radius, I'm gonna, end radius, I'm gonna change it to about 70. And I'm gonna leave everything as it is, just rotate it a bit more, so that it fits on. And you can copy it again, control C, control V, rotate it. Uh, Okay, um, now you can just, um, I'm forgetting something, uh, do, 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 do. let me just quickly think, um, um, no, not really, so just render it out and you should have your outcome. Oh, but yeah, yeah, seriously, I'm so stupid, I forgot to add materials on top of it. Um, I'm gonna go with say blue material and render that. Out. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly change the material again. Uh, for, I'm just being really picky here. I am. Okay, guys. So uh, just let this render out, and um, hopefully, I I'm not sure if this is my last tutorial for my t small tutorial series in my 4D tutorials. Um, uh, I'll just see how many tutorials I got so far, and if I think it's enough, then I'll move on to m making YouTube backgrounds. Or I'll just make two more tutorials and then I don't know what would happen, but I'll probably do one, 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 one or two tutorials and then after that I'll move on to making backgrounds. So I'll just let let's render out and I'll be back when the render's done. So yeah, guys, I'm back and um, the render's looking really good. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, yeah, um, uh, please like and comment, subscribe. Um, and yeah, suggest so more tutorials if you will. And uh, yeah, guys. Um. Oh, and by the way, yeah, one more thing. Uh, I just started making intros, so if any of you guys want an intro, just PM me and you know, I'll make you one. But it's not gonna be free, you know, as always. Like, I charge for more stuff, so yeah, guys. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and see you next time. Peace.